Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Car Help For You. So in today's video, I'm going to basically show you how to fit an aftermarket CD player to your car. The one we're on today is a Ford Fiesta. This one is a 2004 plate um, TDI diesel. So anyway, the method is a lot similar for almost any car. Um, I'm just pointing the car out, so if you have got this specific car, it's a lot same. So basically, the customer brought this car to us and there was no screen here whatsoever this is basically the state it came in we haven't done nothing here the only thing i've done is i've removed this because this was sorry it goes this way this was there and it was literally in like that so you straight away has poor quality we didn't put no pressure on as you can see the full frame isn't set into place um what we're going to do is we're going to put the frame into place properly and we're going to get two cables uh sorry two plastic cable connectors and they're going to go at the back of there so it's going to firm this up a little bit then when that goes in it'll just clip in because there's little wedges at the bottom which will clip it in so anyway guys there's two main wires you need to look out for inside the car the one that's supposed to connect to the back of this radio so if this was had the original ford one this would go straight in perfectly fine and this is the antenna connection without this you won't have a radio signal and if you do get one it'll be very very weak but i've never known a car to have one without this i could be i could be wrong so anyway, you need these two cables, 100%. Um, so we got the radio from eBay. If I just show you the quickly, I'll just show you the radio. This is the CD player we got. So it's a Pioneer one, and it's a. It just says that it's MOSFET 50 watt times 50 W times four. Not sure what it is. It came with the fuse. Uh, inside of it but the fuse was blown so we're going to change the fuse ourselves this is our one and it's came with a connector i'll just quickly show you where the face uh, the fuse goes anyway this is the face that's going to go on the end i'll put that on in front of you guys as well so anyway the fuse it'll just go in the back there. there's a little slot there and the fuse just slides in if you have to put pressure on it you're doing it wrong absolutely easy that fuse went in just one on thing pop straight out pop straight in and that's my pinky finger there it goes straight in no pressure applied whatsoever so that's straight away in so this socket needs to connect to that as you can see straight away it's not going to work when you buy an aftermarket one they should come with a connector so this has come with this connector basically that'll go into the cd player there if you get the lines up right you don't want to you know force it in and damage anything so that's right so now obviously when you get this to connect to this but we've got a problem straight away so now we need another adapter um the customer's done his bit of research so he ordered this from ebay himself with the connectors obviously the fuse was blown but a fuse only cost a few pennies we had an adapter lying around and this adapter usually when they arrive they are a lot smaller and they are just basically straightforward this one is basically an open wire one so basically we can add another connection into there and put a dvd player into it if we want um we told the customer what does he want us to do keep this one or get another one he's happy with this one so we are going to just go ahead and fit this one so we're going to bypass that one and just simply go into this one because this is the main where the power's coming from hooks in straight away no problem whatsoever give it a little bit of tug it's not coming out so now it's providing power straight to this and if we separate the cables there's two more joint connectors coming off this one and one separate one for that we're not going to use the bottom one here or this one because we're not putting another dvd player in or even another radio so them two can just be thrown away if you were to have a dvd on the top up uh, and a cd on the bottom or a cd on the top dvd on the bottom this is how you do it if there were the old style ones nowadays you can tend to just buy one complete unit that does cd and dvd back to this uh their wiring anyway so basically you don't need to mess with any of the wires you've got two sockets there these ones you don't really know need to know how to put them in because they'll only go in one way so this one it goes in there pretty easy give it a bit of tug it'll come back out it won't go in there no matter what i do it won't go in because the way the grooves are it's not going to accept it so this one that's in there and this one will just slide into there so they're in there proper firm so all i've got to do now because i want a radio signal on the car all i've got to do is get that antenna into this but obviously i don't want to pull it and snap the wiring from the back they'll have to take the full dash out and do the full wiring so all i'm going to do is just start putting this back into there nicely and slowly um not wanting to obviously unplug anything or damage anything don't need this one so i'm just gonna put my hand underneath and slide it down towards the bottom You don't actually need to put any pressure on this. You've got to find somewhere sensible where it'll be out the way of you. So now that's going to lock closer. And all I'm going to do is put my hand from underneath. If you can't put it from underneath, it doesn't matter. And 
well the radio antenna comes up quite a bit so i don't need to actually do that um basically the radio antenna you match it up with the hole that's it where it's supposed to go you put it on top and you just give it a little bit of a push and then just a little bit of a tug like that and if it's going to come apart you'll know it straight away so anyway that's on there i have got space underneath to play with mine so i'm just going to put it in nicely there just get it lined up a little bit also guys this is the fascia here so i can slide this off um there's clips there clip there two clips on the side I push them up with a screwdriver it'll just lock this into place we're not going to actually do it yet because the customer is in two minds of actually pulling this full thing out and getting a touch screen device put in later on but obviously we're just doing this now it's nice and secure so it won't fall back out but um so it doesn't give us hassle in the future as well when we go, come to remove it so basically with a little bit of pressure so we already know it's, it's t asking for a bit of pressure you just got to Nicely and nicely, but obviously you're gonna to have to apply a bit of pressure. Not too much that you're gonna start damaging stuff, and just work, work it around. Just work it. You've got to push some things in, and it'll just start to go into place. And this one's obviously it's starting to go into place. And then there's wires at the back that you've got to worry about that don't mess with it. So all I'm gonna do is just put those wires. There's a little gap. I've got a little gap at the back of my at the back of this one. Sorry, and the wires are just gonna go down to the back of me there. And once I've done that. So there we are. Now the wires are completely out of the way. There's one wire there. That's very minor. Just quickly check. Is the radio antenna still in? Yep, it is. And there's a little clip there that's stopping us. And then one there that's stopping us. And there we are, guys. You can see that's gone in perfectly fine. So it did come with this. Um, one more thing. This is actually removable. If we just hold that and it comes off for safety purposes. This is very easy to install. It's got clips on it there. I'm sure where the camera can see that if I bring it a little bit closer. It's got little clips there and it'll just slide on. Just uh, make sure you put them in the right place. And as long as you don't put pressure on, so if it is wrong, so that's on there. And you just got a little, light, lightly tap it. Obviously, ours is a bit loose at the moment. And um, we've got to take ours back out to put to fasten the actual face in. So that's in there. Put this on there. And that's there so next what we what we would do if we were completely finished with this which we aren't the metal clips we've ordered well um there's a screw missing from there so basically one screw is going to go in there it's going to tighten that up there so it's going to pull this straight back and from this side there's no hole for the screw so euro car parts do a little clip where it'll clip onto the back of the plastic there and it'll grab this without us doing any holes or anything like that so it's not going to damage the radio if a person doesn't want to sell it forward they can so this one if you look carefully it's got like a bit of a slanty to it this one side is a bit down it's not straight up so anyway we know it's going to go like that that'll go in there once it's held in properly it'll stay there like that so next we need to power it on and see if it works obviously with some aftermarket radios when you press this it doesn't actually come on straight away like i always recommend make sure the key's not in the ignition or the ignition's not on at all when you're working with any car electrics i would recommend taking the battery out but this is very minor so it's it's one of those hit and miss type of things but make sure the key's not in the ignition as you can do one simple thing and it'll cost you a hundred of pounds to sort. You could blow the full fuse box and all this. It's not worth it in the long run. So anyway, I'm just going to turn the key to the ignition on point. You can see all my ignitions start to light up there. Um, which shows that my ignition's on. If we come back to the actual CD player, turn the CD player on. It's gone to tuner. And let's just see if we can get capital. So that's what, 86. Um, I think it's 106 or 104. Let's just open search that and see if it grabs anything. This is just going to... Yep. So, it's very clear. You can hear it. It's very, very clear. Definitely got it in. And I'm not even going to lie, for an aftermarket one, I think I remember the customer telling us this one cost about £11. And then after posted, it was £15. So, for £15, it's absolutely amazing. The ones that's held in the place there, which will be done after this video. Um, not every car is relevant, that's why I haven't done it on this specific one, just for the, in the video. That'll clip into there, and look, it's not going to go nowhere after that. Obviously, this isn't in properly, but after that, this isn't going to go nowhere and that. And if the customer's worried about his safety on a night that someone might break into the car, all he's got to do is press that button, just lift the screen up a little bit, and it's off. Obviously, I won't recommend putting it there, but it can go there perfectly fine. If not, perfect place for a phone holder. Your phone stays there perfect, or even just sometimes you have some loose change, you shot it in there, whatever customer's interested. Anyway, guys, if you found this video um, helpful, 
please like share and subscribe don't forget to check out all the videos and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down what you think leave your comments guys thank you very much